Okay, good morning. One Lenovo, and I think it's a, a V10 15 ISK. I'm not too sure. I'll double check. This um, has been brought to me by um, a friend, and <clears throat> it's their own personal laptop. And for some reason, there was a Windows update. It got corrupted, and now they can't do anything with it. Windows is not even on there by the look of it. I'm just one-handed here, and there we go. So what happens is when you fire it up, it goes into safe mode and doesn't do anything else. If it's going to work, it might have a dead battery. If so, I'll have to put it on. Yeah, it looks like the battery's gone. Okay, so what happens is you go into it. I'll show you in a sec. And it comes up with a screen. Repair. Doesn't repair. And we've got to get into the EIFF. Is it? I'll tell you what that is. I'll show you that in a sec. And we can't get into it because there's a password. No one has set this password. So we've got to bypass this pass the password. I've looked on the Novo site and it says uh, there's a couple of ways of doing it, but none of them have worked. So the next thing is to take it apart and get the battery out. And that's what we're going to do. But if we can get this on charge, for, no, there's no need to really. No. So what we'll do, we'll flip it over. And actually, yeah, I want to show you the error. So hold on one sec. Right, find a charger. Yeah. It does this all the time. It's in a loop. Press F1 anyway. It makes a difference because it's still going to get to the same place. So this is the screen we get with. You press United Kingdom. It comes to here. You go to troubleshooting. And then you want the, a, the UEFI firmware setting. So we can set this machine <clears throat> excuse me, to boot from USB. So we can get new windows on it. So you press that. Then you restart. I'll pause. That's it. So we've got to bypass that. And they said, no, no passwords, no nothing. So now we've got to take it apart. Switch it off. Flip it over. Now, for convenience, I've already took the screws out. They're just, oh, was it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <clears throat> the one in the middle, 13. The one in the middle is the CD-ROM. You must remove that. And that will do. That will remove your CD-ROM. So pop him out. Now, there should have been two more in here. Little flat, round head. So this has been apart before. Not by me. So there's two small, very, very flat-headed screws. They must be removed, otherwise you can't get the case off. So let me just put you on tripod. So what you need to do is... Let me just put a little light on this. Okay. You need to work your way along. It's already been taken apart, but you can see it's been broken, so just be careful. Well, what do you want to do? It's too pretty late now, anyway. So, we've got to edge this off very carefully. And then, it should just. They just clipped on, so you might need a bit of a screwdriver. Turn it around. There we go. They're just little clips, but don't don't go f forceful because you'll break the clips, and you'll need them to put it back together again. That's common sense, right? So there we go. Pop them off, and now we've got to find the battery, even if it's accessible. Oh, there we go. And there it is. There's your battery. It showed you in the diagram when I looked online for the, the for the website that it was on a little piece of wire and connected to it, but this makes it even easier. So what we do is remove the battery. Oh, I will give you a precaution here. If you're going to do something like this, you really need an earth strap so you can earth yourself to a piece of metal. Um, so I'm just going to earth myself anyway, and we're going to pop this battery out just very carefully. So just using a little screwdriver and just... Easy map. No. Not that easy by the look of it. There we go. Put it to one side. We probably put a new battery in by the way. And we're gonna leave it now for a bit until it loses its settings in the BIOS and then we'll come back to it in a sec. If you can see that that's is an RS2032 that's pretty standard in most computers and laptops. And this one, I've just tested it, is absolutely dead as a dodo, so we'll replace that. While you've got it apart, you could also, if you've got a small airline, or you can buy a blow uh, aerosol can properly for these machines, and you can blow your fan out and blow the area out, make sure it's nice and clean. Bit of a service. 2032. 
got a new battery. Right, let's just, we could pop it in without putting the back back on and see, see what happens. Okay, press F1, back in the same place. Please wait, I'll show you this. I don't know if it's going to work, this is what it says, one of the things you can do. So let's see what's happened. Okay, United Kingdom. Troubleshoot. Settings. Reset. I hope this has worked. If it hasn't, I don't know what to do next. Password. Enter. Invalid password. Maybe we have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, you know, so according to the Lenovo website, it says uh, find the battery, da, 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 da. find the battery, the CMOS settings, clear by password, wait an hour, uh, I don't think it's with that glare on it, okay, wait an hour, place the CMOS battery back in the slot again, so take the battery out, leave it for an hour, then press the F1 key and you should go straight into the BIOS settings without a password. So there we go, coffee time, catch you in an hour. Okay, so while we're waiting, pop it on. Okay, we tried that. The battery's out. It's been left at two hours, more than that now. So the next thing is disconnect everything, take the board, flip it over, and find, which I'll show you in a minute, the two jumpers. It's not even a jumper. You just have to short the chip, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, we'll have a look. Okay, so we flipped the board over. Three of us had to go at it, trying to find this chip. We've actually tried to short what we thought was... I'll just show you something on the screen, which Lenovo said. Now it's not probably the right one. Where are we? So it says look for something like that. So we've had a go. Three of us had a go. So we're going to put it back together and see what happens. Well, it looks like that didn't work. But we're going to post this video anyway, just to prove a point. So go back into it. Troubleshoot. If anybody has got any ideas please leave them in the comment down below because we're just getting this constantly as it reboots you're going to and there you know needs a password and no one knows what the password is all right thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and a like and take care we'll you so we put the machine back together and we found that the keyboard's not worse so there's more to this machine than we think um we've put it all back together again we put a usb keyboard in as you can see there we go it's not a very good one but it does the job and we've actually got into the boot menu so we've actually have shorted or i believe that we have shorted the bios because we've got this far and this is where we need to boot from a usb stick which is placed in one of the usb ports which contains windows so using this keyboard we come down uh, what we're looking for hold on no 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 no, no. Yeah, our USB, generic USB device, you can see that. So we're going to press enter. And this is what? We're stuck in a loop. Um, nothing else we can do. And if you read the menu down below, it says move up and down, um, collapse or expand, and then enter, select, or escape. So, like we're doing, enter. So I think this is a bit of a no-no. Um... I mean, as regards getting into the BIOS, we've done the best we can. We escape again. Same thing. So we go to Boot Manager or man a Windows Mac Boot Manager. It's just constantly stuck in this loop. So, yes, we've managed to get where we wanted to get, which was um, bypass the BIOS um, and, the, and the password. So we got that far. So I hope that helps somebody. Uh, but as regards the machine, yeah, well, we've done it. But... I think it's a bit of a, and then I think there's people have been into it and there's something more to it than meets the eye. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and a, and a thumbs up. That would be great. And um, we'll catch you definitely in the next one. All the best.